Hi and welcome. I'm happy to share with you the new release stamps for Techni Junkies for April 2022. New release stamps are 15% off until April the 8th. Here's a snapshot of all the new stamps that are in this release. I am going to be walking you through all of these new release stamps right now during this video. If you're like me and you love everything you see, there is a special bundle called Gotta Have It All. This bundle is on sale for $90.64. It's normally $113.30. You save $22.66. If you're heading over there to shop right now, just please remember to put in the comment section that you heard about this through Tracy Schultz. Thanks for doing that. Let's get started. First, we have this beautiful background called Wisteria Background that features several blooming Wisteria sprigs and leaves. This would be the perfect background for any occasion. Birthdays, get well soon, thinking of you, sympathy. I created an all occasion card by pairing it with a previously released stamp set called Dream, Hope, Wish, Wonder. I'll have all of these linked below in my description box so that you know how to find them. I like the Dream, Hope, Wish, Wonder stamp set because it gives you the versatility of using all four words as I have on this card or just using select words one at a time. Next, we have a gardening inspired sentiment stamp. This is called Born to Garden. It's brand new from Technique Junkies. And the sentiment is super cute. It says, Born to Garden, Forced to Work. I know a lot of people who love to garden and would, would agree with that sentiment 100%. For my card, I paired it with a previously released stamp in the background that's called Secret Garden. And I just used green ink to ink up that background and to also ink up the sentiment. Except for the little bumblebee, I used um, some markers to color in my bumblebee so that it wouldn't be green. <laughs> I've never seen a green bumblebee before. How about you? I'm going to pull out the secret garden stamp so you can have a look at this again this is not part of the new release this is a previously released stamp um the previously released stamps that i'm showing you you can save 10 percent when you use my discount code tj10 tracy that's tj10 t-r-a-c-y i'll have that listed in the description box below I love how the secret garden background stamp pairs so well with this brand new sentiment stamp called Born to Garden. As I was looking at this sentiment stamp, I thought other people might have other hobbies that would go well in case they wanted to expand upon this in the future. Something like Born to Fish, Forced to Work, Born to Craft, Forced to Work. But here we have Born to Garden, Forced to Work. I have a friend who loves gardening and I can't wait to share this with her. She's going to really enjoy this. Oh, and by the way, before I move on to the next stamp, I do want to show you that this little stamp set, Dream, Hope, Wish, Wonder, each one of these little stamps are individual and I have used them on countless cards for Technique Junkies and for other designs that I've created. And they really are just the perfect little addition when your image on the front of your card is just beautiful enough, just the way it is, but you just wanna have at least a word on there that inspires people. And I think this is one of the best little stamp sets that are available. I will have that listed below in the description box so you can find it if it interests you. Oh yes, speaking of flowers, 
and along the lines of a floral theme. This is another fantastic new stamp. This one's called In the Meadow and it features some very delicate, beautiful flowers. When I have an image like this, I immediately think about what kind of backgrounds can I create, whether it be sunrise, sunset, um, just different colors of sky. And so that's where I went with this stamp. I actually made three different cards. This one is using pan pastels. And I will tell you um, that sentiment thinking of you is part of a set called difficult time set of two. It says thinking of you during this difficult time. Here's a picture of it. It has actually two different sentiments, sending caring thoughts during this difficult time and thinking of you during this difficult time. This is another stamp set that I pull out over and over again and use it for people who are experiencing the loss of a loved one or just a difficult time. Now for this one, again, I use pan pastels for my background and I use the get well soon sentiment, another staple that I pull out time and time again to create a get well soon card. And here's what that one looks like. I love the fonts on both the difficult time and the get well soon sets. And they go so well with this new stamp called in the meadow. And then finally, I created a, another one using pan pastels. This one is more meadow like, and I think it goes really well with the name of this stamp, which is in the meadow. And the sentiment says, may your day bloom with happiness. Now that comes from a previously released stamp set called In Full Bloom Sentiments Set of Six, which there are some awesome sentiments that are part of this, um, a staple that I pull out time and time again. As a matter of fact, I am going to show you another card that features one of these sentiments. So I am showing you a mix of the new and the old, because when I create, I oftentimes will mix and match together. So that is called in full bloom sentiments set of six. And I match that with the new stamp set in the meadow. Okay. Another gorgeous new background stamp. This one's called blooming wildflowers. And I went full on with a very bold palette that I ink blended. This is that color that kind of just punches you in the face. I use Catherine Puller inks, which you can purchase at Technique Junkies. And I did a sunset or sunset background. Um, and then I also took a sentiment from In Full Bloom Sentiments that says live life in full bloom. And I thought that really matched very well with the mood I was going for, for this card. Here it is. It's got that beautiful scripty font. By the way, my background, I heat embossed the flowers with black um, embossing powder. And I also heat embossed my sentiment. I just love these bright colors with the black card and the black um, matte layer behind the sentiment. I really think that that just is so vibrant. This is one of my favorite cards, I think, ever. And I think I'll be making a lot more of these. Um, and it's all occasion. Um, it could be for a birthday or just thinking of you or just uh, thank you. You can always put a sentiment on the inside for whatever occasion it is that you're celebrating or that you're wanting to send somebody a card regarding. So again, that's Blooming Wildflowers from the new release and In Full Bloom Sentiments set of six from a previous release. I do love the floral theme of many of these stamps in this release, but I also love the adorable Basset Hound that's part of this new release. The name of this stamp is Rough Life. The sentiment says, when life gets rough, remember I'm here for you. 
and the Basset Hound is holding a pair of slippers. So I'll tell you a little bit about how I created this cute card. I colored the Basset Hound using Derwent Ink Tents colored pencils. Of course, you could use any kind of colored pencil or alcohol markers or markers of any type. And I die cut that. <clears throat> and then I used the Paws stencil from A Colorful Life Designs and some of this Eye Zinc Diamond 24 Karat Glitter Paint which is available through Technique Junkies. These are some very glittery paints. Uh, they remind me of a texture paste. And I was able to use a palette knife and just spread that through the stencil. Uh, the color that I used was 24 karats gold. The pouch keeps everything nice so that it doesn't dry out. You can use the product on fabric or paper or wood because it is a glitter paint and it does have a lot of sparkle but I do know that Pat um, at Technique Junkies also sells the eye zinc ice which is a lot like this product but doesn't have the glitter in it it's more a um, shiny finish it's really pretty I don't have any of those but I hope to get them very soon so i'm totally hooked on this product love the pouch concept doesn't take up as much space either as all those jars and pots right and minimizes waste and minimizes the chance of the product getting hard if it gets hard it's really hard to use so um, i can't say enough about how much i love this product Moving on, let's talk about the Batman t-shirt. This adorable stamp set definitely had me feeling sentimental. Whatever you do today, do it with the confidence of a four-year-old in a Batman t-shirt. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm actually going to make a card with this stamp set. It will be my demonstration project for this unboxing. Normally I do the unboxing live on my channel on the first of the month at eight o'clock in the evening, but I'm traveling right now. I'm actually at the Allentown Stampercom Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, and I'm actually going to be working at the Technique Junkies booth today. So I'm super excited to have that opportunity, and tomorrow I will be there again and probably checking out all the different booths and all the different vendors that are there and supporting those small businesses. And I'll be there with Nancy from Nancy Stamps. So if you're in the Allentown area, please check it out. It's called StamperCon. Let's just put Batman aside for now. We'll go visit that again at the end of this video. How many of you have a sarcastic sense of humor? Technique Junkies has some fantastic, witty, humorous stamps and this one is awesome it says i'm fluent in three languages english sarcasm and profanity that is so funny love this funny sentiment didn't get a chance to play with it yet we'll be creating with it in the future during the month of april yeah so if you're new to my channel please subscribe so that you get notified of when i have my future videos posted to my channel so that you don't miss out on the opportunity to see me create with this. I also have a blog and do posting on social media such as Facebook and Instagram and I'll have all that linked below in my description box. Okay moving on to another fantastic new sentiment. This one's called lemons and it says, if life gives you lemons, squirt someone in the eye. Another funny sentiment. Technic Junkies is well known for those witty, humorous sentiments. This one is called between coffee and wine. Life is what happens between coffee and wine. Yes, there are days when that is very true. You wanna pick that one up for all your girlfriend cards. This one says, she believed she could, but she was tired. 
That's a real gem of a little sentiment. Now we have a beautiful background called Boho Dots Background. This one has all kinds of beautiful swishy movement to it. It just looks like it's flowing on the paper. And I did stamp this out. I didn't get a chance to finish the cards yet. I do like how they turned out so far with those being stamped. Another snarky, it says, if you think it can't be done, ask a woman. That is fantastic. Okay, now that we've had a look at all the new stamps for the April 2022 Technique Junkies new release, let's go ahead and make a card. And by the way, thanks to everybody who's joining in on this premiere video. Sorry I couldn't do a live this month, but I'm actually on the road visiting with my good friend Nancy Stamps. So for this month, I had to do a pre-recorded video. But next month, we'll go back to a live unboxing on the first of the month at 8 p.m. on my channel. All right, let's go ahead and make a quick card because I know you want to see these awesome stamps in action. This is the stamp called Born to Garden. It's got a really funny sentiment. It says, Born to Garden, Forced to Work. I have a piece of accent opaque 80 pound cardstock. I'm using my Tim Holtz stamp platform. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this using some Catherine Puller inks. I grabbed the color Martini, which is from the Glitz collection. This is a new ink color to me. And I will say, I think it is the perfect color for this card that I'm creating. And what I'm doing is I'm taking some of my yellow tape that I got from Spellbinders, which is called, it's actually called Best Craft Tape Ever. And I'm just taping some of that over top of the little bumblebee that's at the bottom of this red rubber stamp because I don't want a green bumblebee. So I really want to make sure that I cover this. Go ahead and stamp it out with the martini ink, but then go in and apply a different color to the bumblebee so that it's basically the color that it should be, right? Once I get the little bumblebee covered, I'll go ahead and take my martini ink, stamp up the sentiment. It's more than a sentiment, really. It's got a sentiment and an image or artwork to it. It's really cool. Okay, sorry that my camera has decided to be blurry at this moment, but here we go. Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? Oh, no. I forgot to remove my... I forgot to remove my piece of tape. You have to remove it, folks, after you stamp the color, then you need to remove it. Okay, so let's do that again. Uh, this time I got it right. Live and learn, folks. Live and learn. I can't wait to see. Hey, it worked. There's no bumblebee. Now we can go in with our markers and color our... Um, bumblebee but I guess I felt like I needed to apply a little bit more ink to the top portion of this stamp yeah that that definitely made it so much nicer all right let's go ahead and clean the stamp off and grab our markers these are just dual art markers that I got through Michaels they're very inexpensive they're brush markers with a watercolor and let's see how this bumblebee looks Oh, you can't really see it. So let's go in with some brown and highlight like the antenna and the back of the bumblebee, sort of like the back section, the behind. And there's three little dots that are coming off of the bumblebee. And then I'm actually outlining the wings right now. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm making the wings yellow and the body brown. By the way, this technique of coloring your red rubber stamps with markers is one of my favorite ways to put color down when I have um, a red rubber stamp that has 
just a lot of little areas. What's nice about the dual art markers is they have a very fine tip and a brush tip. So I'm using the fine tip right now just to outline the bumblebee, just help to add some definition to what is already there on the page. You can always take your marker and go over the outline sections. So you see how I'm taking the brown marker and just outlining the wings. I think that really helps to make it stand out. If you've never used markers before on your rubber stamps, I would encourage you to give it a try. It's a lot of fun and you can get some really cool results. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I think my B looks really cool. All right. Let's grab another piece of accent opaque 80 pound paper and let's stamp our background stamped image. The stamp that I'm using is from a previous release. It is not from the new release. It is called Secret Garden and I'm using Grass Skirt Ink from Katherine Pooler. And for the sake of time, I did speed this up. I don't move this fast in real life. There we go. That's, that looks really nice. I like how that grass skirt ink really shows off the background stamp. Um, again, I've got uh, the background stamp secret garden off camera. I went ahead and I used a rectangle die. It's, it's stitched. It has lines and dots and I cut out my born to garden forced to work inked up panel. Now I'm going to cut out the background stamp using the next size up die. My dies are that I'm using in this video are from Gina Marie designs. I'll have them linked below. And here we have both of those panels already die cut. And, um, my base is, um, a regular card base and I used Catherine Polar ink to ink blend around the edges of the regular card base to create a perfectly matched card base. So once I move things here, you're going to see what it looks like. I just went down the sides across the top and across the bottom with grass skirt. And you're going to be covering this up and you're only going to see the outer edges so you don't have to ink the whole entire panel. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of tape here and apply this. This is again, secret garden. And you could actually color each one of these items individually. I was going for a bit of a monochromatic color scheme. So I'm keeping everything in different shades of green. Okay. While I'm finishing up my card, I am fast forwarding things. I want to thank you all so much for joining me on this premiere of the new stamps from Technique Junkies. I will have a still photo of my card at the end. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you're watching it after the premiere. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. That way you'll be notified of all my future videos as they post. Don't forget to check out Technique Junkies and don't forget to use my code TJ10Tracy and please let them know that I sent you. A referral is worth so much in this world. I appreciate it. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.